New cards, PogChamp new cards, as MBT would say. So we have Loner decks. This is going to be interesting, but let's go over the updates. Master Duel's got a few of them. One, two, three, let's start. So we're starting off with three different secret packs that have gotten their permanent access open for a limited time. Permanent limited, I know. So you have secret pack Pearlescent Cyber Dragons, which is just Cybers and Cyber Darks. We have the Electron Illusions, which is Evil Twins and Alter Ghosts. And then we have the Immortal Royalty, which is our Vampires and our Eldritches. These other announcements really don't matter. It's the same as part of every single new secret pack opening. But let's next go to this. We have new solo modes. These new solo modes are part of these three pre-constructed decks, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And it's Decisive Cyber Decisive Strike Cyber Dragon, Evil Twin the Kaito Pair, and Eldritch the Conqueror. And then that's that, I guess, because what we're going to go straight to is the juice of the situation, the Loner Deck Trial Campaign for Ranked Duels. The campaign is underway where you can use Loner Decks in Ranked Duels. For a limited time, the following Loner Decks are available for use in Ranked Duels. You, Decisive Strike Cyber Dragon. I think we heard that one before. Evil Twin, the Kaito Pair. I'm pretty sure we heard that one before. And Eldritch Conqueror. The point is they're trying to allow people to try decks before they buy decks. It's a interesting way to motivate people to want to actually get involved with these decks. Because people don't want to spend money if they don't know that it's going to be something they're going to want to play. At least if they have fun with it in ranked, then they'll know they want to play it because they got the cards for free before. So here we are. Let's have a look. Decisive Strike Cyber Dragons. So free Cyber Dragons, free Cyber Dragon Core. Yeah, that looks about right. Only two Galaxy Soldier though. There, you kind of want the third one, but it's fine. Uh, King Regulus is an interesting addition, but while this is not bad, there's a couple key issues I have with it. Two Ash Blossom and two Maxi, one Imperm, two Lightning Storm out of nowhere, one Talents, one Thrust, one Droplet. It's like a deck made by someone who doesn't have enough URs, so they just chucked in whatever they had. That's really the vibes it gives off. And then same issue with the extra deck. We have one, 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 one. Just one of everything. Problem with that is, once you do this, your grind game's gone. And then once you go into your other pieces, say... Cyber End Dragon with Power Bond. You can't summon Cyber End Dragon again. Is really not the best. Now, Evil Twin the Kaito Bear. We have three Kizikil and Leela. One, one. Only one Sprite Blue because we couldn't afford it, like I said before. One Jet because it's limited. Two Red and two Carrot. Interesting. EMP Meow Mine is actually a really cool card in my opinion. One Kizakil and Leela. Uh, with replacing the Sprite Red. The Sprite Blue with the Kizakil and Leela. Because why not? But then two Ash Blossom again. Two Maxi again. So we got a second Imperm this time. We must be really lucky. Uh, one Droplet. One Cosmic. Very, very interesting. And then we have Evil Twin Challenge and Sprite Double Cross. Cards that rarely ever see play at all. And then Extra Deck, we have one Cavalry Centuria. You kind of want to see maybe a Zeus here, I'd say, but no Zeus. Gigantic Sprite, at least we got that. We got IP Mascarena, two Kizikil and Leela. They've done this because you kind of need two of each as a minimum. Nightmare Unicorn, Access Code Talker, and Trouble Sunny. 
another problem, same issue as before, but the other problem is where's Sprite Elf? Where's any Sprite Link monster actually? If we're going to have a Sprite engine in here, you'd want at least one of the extra deck Link monsters. It's really, really restrictive in what it can do. And finally, what looks like the most competent version of the three decks, the Old Lich. We have two Ash Blossoms, one Necro Old Banshee, which is fine, Doom King, three Old Lich, which is perfect, one Foolish and one Good, perfect, two Extravagance. Funny thing about having two Extravagance. As it says down here, this loaner deck includes two copies of the limited card pot of extravagance, so this should be illegal. But the game just lets you play two of it anyway. But also, you can't use its effect as amazingly as you'd want to. You could banish six, and then you could banish three. You can't banish six and six. Which, in my opinion, is unfortunate. Because it just turns this into a pot of greed and then into an upstart goblin. But it is what it is. Especially when you're playing pot of prosperity as well. You can only use two of these before your extra deck is completely empty. Again, one lightning storm, like why? One cosmic, why? Only two cursed eld land. That's not the end of the world, but it still feels a bit off. Two torrential. Two imperm, they're fine, but one judgment, one punishment, one punishment is something you do if you were playing the Dogmatica engine. One golden land is fine. Four different floodgates, completely fine. And then Conquistador and Hakero to uh, three to two respectively. It works. Then the extra deck, Entis. Perfectly fine. Garura, perfectly fine. Pleiades, a really nice addition. Rail Cannon, Dreadnought's Rail Cannon Superdora, Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Libe, and there's the Zeus I was mentioning before. The deck that could have used the Zeus better, the um, Sprite deck, they, they don't need it, they don't need more extra deck monsters, but the Zeus deck. Is becoming this deck, the back row deck. Like, I don't understand, but that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. Then you got Link Spider, Nightmare Phoenix, and Vampire Sucker. So they've given this deck a way to OTK, as well as a way to just wipe the field and a way to play stun. It's like they want people to start playing Old Lich again, even though Old Lich is probably in a vacuum. The weakest of the three, in my opinion. Your Cyber Dragons are just known for being able to OTK going second really easily. Evil Twin might not be meta or whatnot right now, but it's still able to do things. Eldritch is what, a pop and a banish from Grave every turn, usually. So yeah, it is what it is, unfortunately. But at the end of the day... It's good to be able to have these loner decks that you can play in ranked because you get to try out different decks. Anyways, it's, that is everything for all the new information that's come out. So, hope you enjoy. See you in the ranked matches.